also thank you for your service. Uh, I was there. We were winning when I was medevaced out. Would you discuss just a little bit about the constraints of the rules of engagement? Uh, I flew helicopters. They would hang kites on wire strings to get tangled up in our rotor blades. They'd lay on their backs out of the cemeteries and shoot up at us. We were not allowed to engage. Can you discuss that just a little bit, please? Uh, yes. The, as I indicated in my opening remarks, when, uh, 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 when we first entered way, we were uh, the, the most uh, significant rules of, rule that, that of which uh, impacted us at the company level was indirect fire weapons, to include our own uh, organic 60 mortars in the rifle company and 81 mortars in the battalion. And uh, on, the, on the night of uh, the 1st of February, uh, our company was uh, directed to proceed to the uh, jail, which was about uh, five blocks away. In fact, uh, this is on 1 February. The battalion got there on the 6th of February, so that will give you some idea. But we were directed to take the company with a couple of tanks attached and go down uh, uh, Leloy Street, which uh, paralleled the Perfume River and to go to uh, the jail and, and uh, protect or, or con corral the political prisoners that were supposedly incarcerated. And uh, we were not allowed to use, we wouldn't be allowed to use any indirect fire. You know, as it turned out, uh, the, the direction to do this uh, on the night of 1 February was, was crazy at best. And um, uh, I participated in the crafting of a message to Task Force X-ray headquarters in Fubai, uh, recommending against it. And uh, and quite frankly, um, uh, six or eight days later, I can tell you that if, had we undertaken that and taken the route that of which uh, that we were directed to take, uh, that the the company would have been eliminated, or at best we would have been able to escape and evade along the riverbank. Um, and and it just really points out a, a bigger problem, and that was the the really lack of uh, intelligence, uh, real information that was uh, available or known by the the decision makers who weren't uh, physically in the in the city. And uh, you know when I asked the question, uh, well, first it was we were informed that uh, uh, the way into the jail was through province headquarters, and I was naive enough to ask if if uh, province headquarters had been informed uh, that we were coming. And uh, all the territory between MACV compound and, and uh, the province headquarters in jail were in the hands of the enemy. And there was 12.7 machine guns on the roof of uh, province headquarters at that time and a uh, uh, national front flag flying from the flagpole. And so uh, it, was, it was crazy. Air was another uh, issue. I mean, obviously, we could not use air support at that time, but we were further constrained by some horrible weather. The uh, monsoon had come. It was colder than, than normal. It was cold at night, so, I mean, we were in the 50s, and it was uh, heavily overcast and drizzle a good part of that early period in ways, so we couldn't have used, um, we couldn't have used air if we wanted to. I must say, that uh, our battalion commander, the battalion commander of the 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines, the lieutenant uh, colonel by the name of Ernie Cheatham, who retired from the Marine Corps as lieutenant general, uh, arrived, <coughs> arrived on the afternoon of the uh, 3rd of February and took over three of his companies who were already in the city. And his direction to us when we started out um, heading to, uh, toward the, um, the Fukam Canal with the first objective being the Treasury Building, the first major objective, and that was assigned to Fox Company. Um, he told us that uh, if you even suspect there are enemy in the building, blow it down, and I'll worry about consequences. And, and I can't tell you how much that meant uh, to us, even though we didn't, um, we tried not to do any um, extracurricular damage that, uh, you know, that wasn't necessary. 
the the uh, a point that might be of interest here is we always we always uh, hear as to what the impact of a leader is on uh, a battle and and surely uh, the kind of fighting that went on in way uh, the the principal actors were the PFCs and lance corporals and corporals and sergeants and and I'll never uh, forget that however if I have to pick out one individual that was responsible for the beginning of successful military action on our, our part in Way City, it was Lieutenant Ch uh, Colonel Cheatham and his presence on the battlefield. Uh, this was helped by the fact that he was um, six four and a half, weighed about uh, 250 pounds, had played defensive tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Colts. Uh, after his initial uh, time in the Marine Corps. So he was an imposing man physically, but he also by personality.